Dawson's Rentals. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. So, I'm doing a special video this week, usually on Wednesday or Thursday, roughly. Once a week I have my Toku episode reviews of Q-Ranger and x Aid that go up on the same day. There is no Q-Ranger this week, so in lieu of that I'm going to be doing a quick, rough, um, first thoughts on Kamen Rider build video. I've actually got quite a few requests for this, so I decided to go ahead and do it. Although I don't think this is going to go up on the same day as x Aid's review, it's probably going to go up the very next day. But regardless, this is essentially taking the time I would be having for Q-Rangers review. So this is going to be pretty rough. Um, I haven't memorized all the names and everything yet. I, I know, shocker for me. I mean, there's some series I'm 30 episodes in and I still don't remember a guy's name or a form's name. But I'm just going off some of the stuff I loosely remember. Um, I kind of wanted to put up like pictures and graphics when I talked about stuff, but I'm nervous about it. Like, maybe unnecessarily so, because I could even be falsely remembering this, but I feel like I remember somebody in the Toku community did like a video about Sentai or Rider scans a few years back and it got like pulled because of the pictures, because it was early scans. So I don't even know if that story is true, if I'm misremembering that or if that would even be a thing. But just to be safe, so I don't have to like re-record it or anything, I'm just not going to put any pictures up. I'm not even sure what the thumbnail will be, I might even have to change it later. But I'll link in the description uh, like an article or like a Twitter um, feed or something that has pictures in case you haven't seen this or you want to like see sort of what I'm talking about but so um, if that's not a thing then next time I do something like this I'll put up like pictures or something um, or if there's something where I'm not worried about it I feel like I'm being overly paranoid I just don't feel like having to deal with seeing a weird notification on the video and having to like refilm this or you know find the raw and put it up if I've haven't deleted it yet. So anyway, so Bill is the next common Rider. We have known about his name for some time. Um, it's kind of funny because uh, I've mentioned in the past few videos I've kind of muted some Toku news sites and stuff. So, like I still follow the news but I just kind of only follow what I need to. Um, partly just to have experience things fresh and I find the community to be the most annoying community I've ever seen. So I was just kind of, I muted out. So all I knew was the title and I was just kind of waiting for this. The scans, usually um, when Sentai and Rider stuff's approaching, I'll regularly check the boards and Twitter and, and see what the latest rumors are, the, you know, the early leaked sketches, some of which end up being pretty accurate, some not. But so I have, basically I haven't really been on top of it um, in terms of what the rumors were beforehand outside of just the name being a thing. Um, so, but two minutes in, I'll say what I think of it. I, I really like the look of what we're getting, um, pretty much all around. Um, the base form, I believe, is called Rabbit Tank, I think? Like, it's a weird mishmash of things. People have brought it up. It's very double-esque in its mismatch territory. Hell, it even kind of looks like, um, a double, like, like a new double, like Neo double in a way, I guess you could say. Although it's a totally different, like, gimmick system and all that stuff. But I mean, just the look of it looks like it could be in that. I even saw some rumors that it was like a double sequel. I don't know how true that was. I mean, if it's really true, like, confirmed, then I look like an idiot right now. But I just didn't put too much stock into it. I saw some rumors about, like, Foundation X, because I heard they recently came back. I'm just now catching up on Rider movies I'm behind on, so I'm not sure when or if they came back. And then that just reminds me how much of a wasted opportunity the Foundation X link was. So I don't know how true any of that is. Like I said, I could end up sounding like an idiot um, later, depending on what's confirmed, but, like, the most stock I would put into it would be Foundation X and Double Stuff might be used for, like, movies or something. It's just, they tend to not do sequel -y series, you know? The closest we've got was like the little teases for O's and Forza at the end of Double and uh, O's. So, I don't know. But it sounded kind of neat, but we'll see. Uh, but I saw some rumors about that and I'm not sure how much was confirmed. You feel free to call me an idiot and tell me it's true or not, but I just had to bring that up because of the look and then because of the rumors, and I don't know if the rumors simply started because he looked like that. Bottom line is, he's mishmashy. The main form is red and blue, unless I'm misreading that as that being the red form, the main form. But I think it looks really cool. It looks sleek. The helmet looks really badass. It's got kind of more of a classic, in a way classic, not classic like Showa Rider, but the classic eyes compared to like x aids which are very different because they're going for something different, obviously. But it's a little bit more traditional in a, in a manner of speaking. But I think it looks really cool. The shine of the suit looks awesome. It's like a Pepsi Rider, but it's also cool looking. Uh, the belt's very okay. Um, most of the belts, not that I've hated them, but a lot of them have just kind of 
Um, like the gamer driver, I'm fine with it, but it's not like my favorite design. Same thing with this. Like it serves the purpose well, and I like I like what it does functionally. Um, but it's just not one of those ones where I'm like, man, that's a sleek belt. I like that. Um, and it's like the bottles are the gimmick this year. Um, and I'm sorry, I didn't read whether they're gonna have electronics or not. I kind of hope they do because Gashat's kind of proved again that like the best gimmicks have some form of electronics in them but they're going to be bottles and you basically mishmash and i imagine slash i think i read that the figure series you know the standard figure series the gimmick figure is going to be one of those like what if things which i think will be a lot of fun because i know for sure i'll be collecting those because i like to collect those figures um because like uh I, like the double and the o's ones had that fun and then it's kind of funny because like at the concept ghost had the same thing as gimes but it wasn't as fun as gimes and x eights was just kind of all over the place, um, but I think this one has more potential to be more fun what if for me, and so that should be kind of fun. Uh, there's been a couple weapons that have been shown, uh, they kind of look okay, nothing that's like knocking my socks off, but uh, they look pretty neat. Um, like I said, the main form looks cool, there's a bunch of other mishmash forms going around, I haven't memorized all their names yet, because I've seen even a couple different variations, like, there was like a white and blue one, which I think was the first picture I ever saw, which looks really cool, which might be my favorite right now, and then like later I saw one that just used one side of that, but there's like one with a lock, there's like a ninja one, there's like a purple yellow, um, there's a bunch of different combinations, I think they said 10 to start, or something like that, but I, I like the look of most of them. I, I definitely have like a hierarchy of favorites if I look at them. Like I like the main one. I really like the white and blue one. Um, but they're very interesting and like each side's kind of unique and I, I think it's kind of unique what they're going for. Um, there's also uh, a picture of a secondary writer whose name is like, I want to say Gl Close, Close, Glenn Close. No, it's Close. And he looks pretty cool. It's like orange and blue with like a dragon emblem on the head. He looks pretty cool. And there's another guy whose name is escaping me, but if, he's like a, a robo-bat thing. And he looks very Rider-esque, but I believe he's just a villain. Um, unless that's been re-reconfirmed that he's a Rider. But he looks Rider-esque and his suit is really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, there's also, I think, one other dude that I just saw this morning, but it was just a quick, classic, like, shaky cam picture. So there might be a clearer one now but from what I looked at this morning. but. So there is a couple of other characters, there's definitely one other writer, and then at least one other writer-esque character, um, and I, I pretty much like the look of almost all of it. Like, there's some stuff that I don't like as much, but there's nothing that's really turned me off. But, but yeah, um, and I'm not sure what kind of writer series it'll be, like in terms of uh, number, because we're starting with getting pictures of two. I don't know whether it'll be one where it's like, focuses on three to four, Will it be a huge multi-rider series like Gaim? Will it be kind of like X8 or Kabuto with a solid amount of riders that just build up over time? I don't know. And I believe the synopsis I've seen, I don't know how accurate it is. Um, I'm pretty sure it's at least semi-accurate. It says it's like sort of post-apocalyptic in a way where like everybody's souls are in bottles and like the ones that are attacking are called builders or something. It sounds kind of interesting. It'll it makes the world sound very different than like a default world setting. Um, so I'm interested to see that. Uh, I can't think of too many Rider or Sentai series where they had something like that where it felt too drastic. Like, the only ones that are coming to mind at the moment are like Gokaiger because like the Zangak arrived and then Q-Ranger right now, which feels a little different, but I still feel could feel even more different for the setting. So we'll see where that goes, whether it actually feels like a different time in the world or whether it just sort of does like Q-Ranger. I guess like another one is Kabuto because it was like post-worm invasion. But still, basically the way those usually have felt, the examples I can think of in my head right now, there might be something I'm forgetting, is like you feel that there is a change in the world but it doesn't feel monumental, like we're truly looking into a different setting. It still feels just like a little bit off from our own world, which is probably purposeful. but. The premise sounds interesting regardless. It's always hard to tell this late in the game. You'll get the extreme reactions of, oh my god, best design ever, or Rider's dead to me, I'm just gonna burn my Rider collection and have a ritual, and uh, it's hard to tell at this stage, honestly, because you could have the most amazing suits that you've ever seen in your life, and the series could end up sucking. You could see suits you just don't care for, but then the show could end up being amazing. 
Um, like for example, I love ghost designs. It's they're probably some of my favorite overall designs, but I'm not a huge fan of the show overall. But like when I first saw the suits, I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. This is hoodies and paranormal and all this cool stuff. And then, ugh. Um, Gaim, I'm gonna use an example not of bad suits, because I actually really like the Gaim designs. But in terms of like uh, judging a book by its cover moment, it's like, what the hell? This is a fruit show. And then that sounded like <laughs> funny, but you know what I mean? Like it's based on fruit. But like, so I was like, oh my God, they're really going far with this one. And then it ended up taking it more seriously than I thought. And it ended up being one of my favorite shows. Like I said, that wasn't one where I hated the designs. It was just the first judgment. So it's really hard to tell. So. Uh, basically, I advise everybody, regardless of whether you like it or not, if you're a writer fan, to at least give it a couple episodes, you know, because you can't tell by the, the look of it. But so yeah, right now I'm excited. The The honeymoon scan phase is always an exciting time for, for writer and Sentai, so I, I like living in that. Um, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what he has. Hopefully it's good. X-Aid was a very rocky relationship for me, but it ultimately was a step up from the last year of Ghost, um, and I'm actually going to kind of miss it now, which is kind of weird. Like I said, my wrap-up is going to be very interesting, but I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. So we'll see. I don't know if I'll do anything more about this, like a more informed version. Like I said, this was pretty rough. Like I basically just looked at the pictures. I tend to do a little bit more reading about what's going to be in the show uh, around when the press conference thingy happens and the, like the little trailers come out and stuff like that, because right now it's very base information. And I'm I've said this before, but I'm like a kid. I just look at the pictures, and like I'm just too impatient to read most of the stuff outside of the stuff I've seen in passing, like the synopsis and the double rumor. But anyway, that's about it. Um, if you'd like to see me do these in the future, let me know, because I wouldn't mind doing little news updates for scans and whatnot. So until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Dawson Ryder, signing out.